What's going on, family? Maurice Bay, the helpful trucker here. Um, I want to go through a couple of uh, these comments on the um, one of the latest videos that I did on weed and trucking. There's some comments in here that uh, need that need a response that warrant a response and then there's some comments in here that i just want to i just want to spotlight and and like i'll let you the viewer you know i'll, I'll let you be the judge okay I, i'll just let you be the judge so i'm just gonna i'm gonna pick a few random comments and go through them in this video and kind of give my my two cents on these comments i'm not gonna read anybody's name if you left a comment on that video just just watch this video that we're on right now because i may just i may just address the comment that you left one person says, what kind of freight do you carry? Um, this is a person that obviously does not watch many of my, my videos. Like anybody that follows my content knows like, like you, you should know what kind of uh, freight that, that I carry. But I, I, I haul wood chips. That's what I haul. I haul a forestry product. And I'm assuming that's the reason that they asked this question is because in the marijuana video that I did talking about trucking, I addressed, um, um, you know, like how I'm not in the clearinghouse and I don't have a DOT number and I don't have an MC number and the kind of freight that I pull uh, allows for that. So I pull a forestry product, which means I don't need any of those numbers. Plus, I don't cross state lines. So hope that addressed your comment. Um, another person said, you must don't drive semi trucks, even if you own operator. I'm guessing the reason that they said this is I can't really think of a reason why they commented that um, you must don't drive semi trucks, even if you own an operator. Like, I don't know what about my video that I did on marijuana and trucking would make anybody think that I don't drive a truck. I don't I don't I don't get it. So just to address that comment, if that if you're watching this video right now, yes, I do drive a truck. And yes, I am an owner operator. I'm assuming the reason that you're saying that is because of the subject matter that I was talking about in that video. But like if you listen at the video, which you may or may not have listened at the video, I was talking in that video about how I don't smoke marijuana anymore. So why you would you know i guess maybe you see the video and you just assume that oh man this is a truck driver you know telling the world that he smokes marijuana well actually i wasn't i didn't make videos on smoking marijuana when i smoked marijuana i waited until i stopped smoking marijuana to start making videos on smoking uh marijuana that's one thing that overcoming things will do generally speaking overcoming things in your life opens up doors for you so i feel that now that i've stopped smoking marijuana i can talk about it on video not too many truck drivers are talking about marijuana and trucking right now because a lot of them do it currently a lot of us are doing it currently so of course you can't talk about it if you're still doing it but if you're not doing it anymore and if it's out of your system i would think you could talk about it if you want to so yes i do drive semi trucks and i am an owner operator I've never threw up smoking weed, but dang, that's crazy, bruh. Not really. I know several people. Uh, I know more than one person, I'll say, that ha has had an issue with cyclical vomiting. Um, and, and you know, some of you guys have, have, have uh, left a comment saying stuff like, well, man, that's probably not marijuana or somebody's, you know, probably spraying something on your marijuana or that's probably the black and miles that you used to smoke that was causing you to uh, to throw up. Um, no, I think it's marijuana. And, and I'm not the only person that I know of. Somebody left a comment the other day saying you must smoke nasty blunts because if you were smoking joints, you wouldn't have that problem. Well, I know people that smoke joints that have cyclical vomiting uh just like i had right so you guys got to stop acting like the marijuana of today is like the marijuana of the days of old y'all got to stop acting like the marijuana of today is organic you know like tell that to somebody else that 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 don't know better okay i i, I just stopped smoking so i know the difference between the marijuana of the day and the marijuana of the days of old and anybody that 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 is that is familiar with the marijuana of the day knows that it ain't the same as it used to be you know that it ain't 
organic like it used to be and not saying that it was ever organic but it's a lot it was a lot more organic 20 years ago than it is uh right now so it's very possible that the that the crossbreeding and all of the stuff that they putting on the marijuana nowadays you know it, it's possible that it could affect your system adversely some people feel like well marijuana shouldn't affect you adversely it's a plant but i'm gonna say again the, the the way we're ingesting marijuana nowadays is we're not ingesting all natural marijuana again tell that to somebody else that don't know better okay <laughs> somebody said i sound just like pastor gino jennings i have no clue who that is somebody else commented a truck driver Traching, I guess he's saying teaching a truck driver teaching grown men how to smoke. I'm gone before it starts. Y'all lost. OK, so that's a prime example of what I was talking about a minute ago. This is a person that didn't even watch the video that chose to leave an opinion on a video that they didn't even watch. So I guess if you saw the title, which was. Uh, smoking weed as a truck driver here's how to handle it I guess if you just looked at the title you could say well man this guy must be teaching people how to get away with smoking marijuana as a truck driver but that's actually not what the video uh, was about um, so this comment kind of makes no sense a truck driver teaching grown men how to smoke I'm gone before it starts it's best for you to leave because like you formulated your opinion without even looking at the video okay the video was not about me teaching people how to smoke the video was about letting people know um, that I stopped as a truck driver the reasons why I stopped as a truck driver and to give some inspiration and motivation to the people that are in our profession that say that they want to stop that's really what the video um, um, was about. There's a lot of people that smoke as as truck drivers, as there always has been. And there's a lot of people that smoke as truck drivers that say that they that they want to stop. But for one reason or another, they don't. So I figured I'd make a video talking about how, you know, I, I just stopped. I just stopped. So, you know, it definitely it definitely can be done. But again, not many truck drivers can talk about this subject because a lot of them still are indulging right so yeah it's best for you to go before it even starts yeah because you you're you're, you're the judgmental type <laughs> somebody commented call the trucking guru she'll get you right <laughs> with a laughing emoji I, I guess you guys have been hearing all the controversy around the trucking guru lately don't know if it's true don't know anything about it I, i'm a spectator of that situation just like a lot of you guys so i won't even i won't in, i won't even give two cents on that all right somebody else commented just don't be a drug addict it's a simple fix Eh, I'll come back to that comment. <laughs> Somebody else commented, marijuana is best dealt with through a joint effort. I guess that's like a pun, pun intended, a play on words, right? <laughs> this is a comment I want to address. Somebody asked me, is it true hair tests go back six months? Also, I think the negativity against marijuana needs to stop. I've been clean for a while, but instead of them focusing on marijuana, which is not a gateway drug, they need to focus on harder drugs that could truly F up someone's life. This is weird. I want to address this comment because a lot of you guys have been asking me questions as far as um, getting drug tested as a truck driver. Like I'm reading these questions from some of you guys that I'm getting along those lines being drug tested as a truck driver and the first thing that's going through my mind is what makes these people think that i'm a drug testing guru <laughs> like i'm just a truck driver i'm just an individual at the end of the day that used to blaze and i stopped six months ago i had I, I i let people know in the two videos that i've done um on marijuana and trucking i let people know that i've never even been drug tested as a truck driver, okay? And I'm not gonna get into why now because I got into why in those other two videos, but I let you guys know that. And then some of you watched both of those videos, one of those videos, and from that, you start to ask me questions about the drug testing policy as a truck driver. I have no clue. I do not know what the drug testing policy is. I mean, I've heard things and I've talked to people, but like I'm not the I, I can't tell you how far back a hair follicle test goes. I can Google it. 
just like you can. Right. Um, but I don't know. I've, I've, I have no I have no association with the hair follicle test. I'm, I'll tell you what I think. I think it goes back six months. But, you know, like I heard that just from asking around, just from doing Google searches. That's where I, I think that's where I picked that up at. Right. So, you know, it's weird because some some of you some of you guys, not just you guys as truckers, but it's interesting how people nowadays in our society, like you got access to everything right here on this phone. You don't need to go around asking questions like that to, to somebody like me. Right. Like you guys put too much faith in online personalities. OK, like this is called due diligence. Be willing to do your own due diligence and figure out the information instead of coming to you know a YouTube video like this and asking a question like that. I like like ask the DOT. I don't know. Ask the company that's going to hire you. Ask the people that's going to give you your drug test. How far back does hair follicle test go? I, I'm, I told you in those two videos, I've never been drug tested. So how would I know how far back uh, a hair follicle test goes? OK, next thing I want to address in this comment is this person says marijuana is not a gateway drug. I want to address that because. You know, for some of us, it may not be a gateway drug, but for some people, marijuana is a gateway drug. And this is coming from somebody that smoked marijuana for 30 years. Right. So it's not like, you know, I'm not familiar with the subject. I'm very familiar with the subject. Again, you got to tell that to somebody that don't know better. Like most of the people that start off or most of the people that uh, graduate to harder drugs, a big percentage of them start off with milder forms of drugs like marijuana, like alcohol, like cigarettes. You'd be amazed at how many people start. Cigarettes can be considered a gateway drug. Any drug that you take, any any mind altering substance that you take that after taking it for a while doesn't necessarily do it for you, has the potential to make you want to elevate to, to new forms of getting high like this is this is let's just call a spade a spade family okay let's not let's not lie to ourselves so like for me marijuana was never a gateway drug and for you marijuana may not be a gateway drug but i wouldn't i wouldn't be okay with with my children smoking marijuana under the expectation that they will be able to handle it and they will never graduate to anything else again a lot of the people that uh, end up doing harder drugs started off which with much more milder forms of drugs you got to be willing to admit that so yes marijuana can be a gateway drug all the years that i smoked i was never willing to admit that but again looking back hindsight is 2020 you gotta you gotta be willing to call a spade a spade cigarettes tobacco can be a gateway substance Cigarettes and tobacco can be a gateway drug. Now, does who classifies tobacco and cigarettes as a drug? Probably nobody except for me. But if it alters your mind, if it's a mood altering substance, you can categorize it as a drug. You should categorize it as a drug. You know, it's, it's just it's just it's just some drugs are milder and some drugs are are are, are you know, more major. OK, but anything that has the ability to alter your mind and alter your mood um, uh, um, in a in a what's the word I'm looking for um, in a in a non organic way, because certain things alter your mood and alter your mind in an organic way, in a natural way. But anything that does that artificially, that's the word that I'm looking for is a drug. Period in the story. OK. Let me get to another comment here. <laughs> Somebody says, bro, get high. You can still find jobs on Craigslist, Craigslist that pay good and don't drug test. Life is too short to not live again. That's your opinion coming from somebody that used to smoke uh, marijuana. You know, like like if that's how you categorize living or not, like walking around um um high like i'm living when i'm high and i'm not living when i'm not you gotta re you gotta reevaluate that you gotta reevaluate that again i don't want to come on here like i'm preaching to anybody because i've stopped now and i might be talking to somebody that hasn't stopped it's not like that but you know you got to be willing to call a spade a spade okay let's not just defend something just because we want to do it if you want to do it fine but call it what it is OK, like, you know, I'm not living my life if I can't get high. You shouldn't need to get high to be able to live your life <laughs> like P 
period in the story that should that should the two shouldn't have nothing to do with each other you should be able to be happy without any intoxicating substances if you can't do that then you potentially have a problem I, I'm, I'm willing to admit that now that I've stopped, but I was kind of willing to admit that while I was still doing it as well. You got to be willing to call a spade a spade. OK, if you want to get high, if you want to do something, that's fine. But don't call it something that it's not. Don't 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 say that it is something that is really that it's really not. You should not need artificial mind altering substances to feel like you're living. Period in the story. OK. <laughs> somebody says there was this guy on youtube who quit trucking and posted all his weed videos in the truck he was based out of vegas he went to growing weed somebody 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 uh, uh let me know who that is in the comments if you know who who this person is talking about in their comment let, let me know who that is and if you got their channel uh id uh send send over their channel leave it in the comments Somebody else says, is it just a urine test to get into CDL school? Because I stopped smoking, but it's only been a couple months, so I couldn't pass the hair test. Um, no, it's for, it just depends. It just depends. You know, some people are just taking urine tests. Some people are doing hair follicle tests. If you're not sure if marijuana is out of your system, it's best to not even try to get into trucking, depending on. And that's, you know, that's depending on your situation. But generally speaking, if you're not sure if you're if you're clean, if marijuana, if drugs, if intoxicating substances are out of your system completely, then just wait. Because you don't want to get caught up in a situation where you piss dirty and you're just getting started. You know, they got drivers going to the SAP program now that haven't even gotten their first job yet. They haven't even gotten their first job and they're, they're, they're starting off their trucking career as a SAP driver. Like you messing yourself up before you even get started just because you want to get high. Going back to the, to the, to the other person's comment, like if you want to get high, fine. But like, you know, like I can't live. I'm not living if I'm not getting high. You know, I got to deal with the SAP program. I got to deal with every time the police stop me. I got to make sure that my car don't smell like weed and make sure the ashtray is cleaned out. Like you call that living, <laughs> right? You got to think, man. You got to think. Most of my audience is men. Like 90% of my audience is men. So I'm assuming that most of the people that I'm talking to right now is men. But if you're a woman, this is appropriate for you too. But like if you're, if, if, if like you got to take care of your family. That's what living is as a man, taking care of your family, handling your responsibilities. OK, living ain't got nothing to do with being high and being out of your mind all of the time. That that's 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 your way off course, if that's what you call living. Most people that smoke marijuana don't care to drink alcohol. Eh, I did both. <laughs> a lot of people that I know smoke marijuana do both. Man, the clearinghouse is BS along with the FMCSA. All of it is watered down. I will I will agree with that. The clearinghouse ain't nothing but a money grab, in my opinion, really and truly. Like they like when I heard that they make the driver, the person that's being urine tested, pay for the urine test. Like what kind of craziness is this? <laughs> like what part of the game is that? They make the person that's getting the urine test pay for the urine test. Yeah, that sounds like a money grab to me. So the person that left that comment, I agree with you. This person says all truck drivers are addicted to something. Choose your pleasure. Some of us smoke weed. Some of us drink. Some of us got crazy porn addictions, lot lizard addiction. Just don't get caught. I can't say whether that's true or not. I would hope it's not. I would hope it's not. OK, like if you're going to be addicted to something, be addicted to something that's going to that's beneficial. Like just being addicted to something that's pulling you off course and not bettering you in life and not leading you to a better tomorrow. That's emotional immaturity. That's what that is. I got no problem calling that it what it is. OK, try to be addicted to things that make you better. OK, be addicted to reading, be addicted to learning, be addicted to studying, be, be addicted to being a better father, be addicted to being a better husband, be addicted to being a better, a, a more productive member of society, be addicted to being a builder. Right. Like just being addicted to, you know, drugs and alcohol and porn and lot lizards and all of that. Like that's a sign of emotional immaturity, family. <laughs> a lot of drivers really like to play with their nose. I bet they do. <laughs> I bet they do. Crazy how you can drink off duty, but can't smoke off duty. I would agree. 
I would agree. Alcohol destroys a lot of people's lives, man. And that is a big <clears throat> that is a big thing for a lot of people. Like I can get slammed drunk when I'm off duty. But I, if I if I want to smoke and I get urine tested, then it's a problem. Doesn't it is it is um it is uh, hypocritical. It absolutely is. As somebody commented um earlier in these comments, and I had never thought about it before, because family, I don't stop at truck at truck stops much. But somebody commented that you know there's ABC stores, there's liquor stores in at the truck stops sometimes. Like that's crazy. You know that's that's that's, that's crazy. That just don't make that just don't make sense. I know a few drivers who smokes, but one thing about this industry is do your job and go home. People will snitch on you just because I get it. But if something isn't affecting you or no one around you, my, why mess someone's job up based on your point of view? Yeah, 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 yeah. Tretch from Naughty by Nature back in the days used to call it doing your dirt all by your lonely. My mom calls it don't let your left hand know what your right hand is doing. So it's, you know, some people would say it's not what you're doing is how you do it. But now we're getting back into the subject of doing something that you that you got to cover up. Right. And that's don't nobody feel like wearing no mask all the time, man. So if you got to cover up what you're doing. You know, like like if you're cool with that, fine, but you might want to check what 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 you're doing. OK, people in this industry will cut your throat. I've said that before. So watch your back. Right. Like especially if you slip seating. Right. You slip seating. You're in and out of different trucks and every truck you go in when you get out of it, it smell like green. Be careful. Be careful. It ain't it ain't worth not being able to 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 to, to make your money because you want to get high. OK, that's not living. Somebody says, good luck, bro. You can do it. Those blacks tougher than the trees. <clears throat> I can't argue with that. I can't argue with that. Like since I stopped, I haven't really been tempted to smoke marijuana anymore. Like that, 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 that really truly feels like it's out of my system. Not just the substance, but the temptation as well. But I still get tempted every now and then to pick up a black and mile. I really do. So I can't argue with that, man. Them blacks in certain aspects might be tougher than the trees. <laughs> somebody says it's a good comment say what you will or may your reaction is not the same when high i can't argue with that i can't argue with that this is interesting right here for those that don't know january 1st 2024 state law changes in california employers will no longer be able to fire you or refuse to hire you for smoking weed off the job truckers included that's crazy they can test you and if you come out positive for weed you will be okay law code ab 2188 california only anybody that knows about that that got some information on that drop it down in the comments let us know i'm not in california that don't affect me but for people in california you know that 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 affects you guys i find that hard to believe man but if there's any state that would do something like that i it would be california it absolutely would <laughs> Weed and truck driving don't mix and should not be done by anyone while being a truck driver. We have enough accidents already. Yeah, well, I don't know how you could say that about weed and not say that about alcohol. You know what I mean? Like 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 people have a lot more accidents off of alcohol, I would say, than off of uh marijuana right so it just don't make sense that you can trucking is stressful i get it and it just doesn't make sense that you can drink off duty but you can't smoke off duty that kind of that kind of just don't make sense okay so this person is saying weed and truck driving don't mix and should not be done by anyone while being a truck driver but it's okay to drink i guess this person ain't saying nothing about drinking right like the fact that it's legal or illegal that shouldn't that it should have more to do with it than that. Does it make sense? If it don't make sense to get intoxicated by marijuana, 
some of you guys drink, but you 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 you're you're criticizing the marijuana smoker. That don't make sense. And I'm going to throw cigarettes in there as well, because we all know that cigarettes are mood altering substances as well. Some of you guys are on prescription medication. Like it's all the same, boss. It's all the same. If you're going to get on the marijuana smoker, but you take prescription drugs, you might you you that's kind of hypocritical. OK, if it's mood altering or mind altering that that's where we should draw the line at. Not between, well, one is legal and the other one is 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 illegal. Don't none of it make no sense. None of it is good for you. None of it is good for your health. Right. You know, like 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 that's what we should draw the line at, whether it alters your mood artificially or not. If it does. It would make sense to me that 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 everything that does that would be categorized as a drug. Amen, brother. You need to talk to a lot of young men. Alcohol is one thousand percent worse than a measly blunt. I can't argue with you on that one. Wow. CDL equals absolutely no weed. Simple as that. And somebody responded or replied to his comment with that changes in California, January 1st, 2024. If you're watching this and you got some information on this new law in California uh, that's supposed to start in California next year, let us know about that. That's interesting. Another person commented, I had CHS2, cannabinoid hyperemesis syndrome. That's what that is. The only solution is to stop smoking weed and it will go away. I, I, I know that. I know that. But there's some people in here that feel like, well, maybe it's because, you know, that's synthetic weed that you're smoking. Or maybe somebody doing something to your weed. Or maybe it's another substance that you're that you're ingesting. Like, it's funny how weed smokers sometimes have a hard time admitting that, like, it might be the weed, bro. <laughs> like it might be the weed. You can't just keep looking at everything else. It's like they keep wanting to stick to this argument that weed is natural and God put it here. Like it ain't natural no more, boss. Again, tell that to somebody else that does not know better. <laughs> so look, man, I've been on this. I've been on now for almost 30 minutes. Um, I want to do this again because there's a lot more comments on here that I want to spotlight and that I want to talk about and that I want to give my two cents on. Plus, these marijuana videos seem to do pretty good here on the channel. Obviously, a lot of people in the community um, get a kick out of checking out these videos. So um, leave your comments or replies to any of these comments in the comment of this video. And again, there's a lot more comments to go through. So depending on how this video that I'm doing right now does on the channel, I'll come back on and do a, and do another part, do a part two and kind of pick up from where I left off at and continue going through some of you guys, uh, some of you guys comments. Right. So that's it for this video. I'll catch you guys on the next one.